guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you today I just kind of wanted to sit down with the camera and talk about something that's kind of been on my mind and I think that it'll be helpful for all of you ladies that are watching I'm assuming girls are watching this video so without further ado let's just jump right on into this video Today we are going to be talking about everything girl talk related, but mostly related to social media and self-image and those types of things. And I wanted to share an experience I had the other day where I went on TikTok, which I don't normally do. I haven't really been a TikTok person on that bandwagon yet. But I think I am at this point now because I went on TikTok because I was curious to find out who Addison Rae was. I've heard so much about her and I just wanted to know who she was and what kind of TikTok she made and apparently she makes all these dancing ones because I just saw a bunch of dancing ones. So I spent an hour watching her dancing TikTok. I honestly, I liked them and I kept asking myself questions like how does she move her body like that and how does she always look so put together and all the stuff. And after I watched her TikToks for so long, it motivated me to make my own dancing TikTok, which I ended up doing. So I learned a TikTok dance and I posted it, but that got me thinking and it kind of got me thinking about the influence that social media has on us in general. And I feel like we can be blind to it sometimes because we see all of these other girls on social media living their lives the way that they would normally and it motivates us to change the way that we live our lives to match them which can be a good thing if it's a good life change or it could be a bad thing because we're trying to copy someone else's lifestyle that we probably weren't meant to have and for instance this addison ray girl i'm not a dancer like apparently this girl is and she is really good at dancing and her tiktok videos show that and I just cannot dance like that. So me trying to dance is kind of comical because I'm changing my lifestyle to try to be like hers. And I kind of wanted to talk about that because I feel like with all of these influencers that are now becoming famous and we just watch people every day on the internet living their lives and we will change our life to match theirs and I want to talk about that being in an unhealthy way because it can be a good thing when you start eating healthier, when you start working out and all of those things. But as long as you have the right intentions for it, if you have the wrong intentions, then it's actually damaging to make these lifestyle changes. I think that with social media influencers, we will see them working out like six days a week we see them eating vegan or something like that, not that that's bad, but we just see them with different diet choices than ours and we see how they dress and where they choose to shop and with their makeup or skincare, we see how they choose to take care of themselves and their appearance and we see that it's successful for them. So we decide, well, we want to have that same success for us too in all of those areas. But some people may not be meant to wear makeup every day. Some people may not be able to use the same products that they're using for their skin because it doesn't actually work with their skin. Some people might need to cut out certain diet things and some people might not. So what I'm trying to say is we are looking to these social media influencers to see how they live their lives, but maybe that is not how we should be living our lives. We assume that it's successful for them, so we should do it for us, but that's not really how it's supposed to be. For instance, social media is a huge advertising platform, so brands will ask influencers to promote their products because that's a good way for them to advertise their business which is a great way to make money as an influencer. So there's nothing wrong with that. But we assume that because our favorite influencers suggest something means that we have to have it. And I feel like that just 
is a part of our consumerist culture and it's just getting worse because we have all these influencers that we view as friends because we know so much about their lives them suggesting products to us makes us think that we have to have it because they suggested it this necessarily doesn't have to be the case that's why especially with buying things i suggest and what i try to do is every time i see an influencer buy something i really try not to go out and buy it right away because I really need to evaluate whether this is good for my lifestyle and what I need. I definitely think that I have found some great things because of influencer suggestions, so I don't think that's a bad thing. Sorry if the angle changed, my camera died, so I had to charge real fast. But what I was saying was I do think that whenever we are evaluating what we need to be buying, we just need to be very cautious and not give in to the temptation of buying everything that we see because I definitely can be like that, especially with clothes. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad with clothes. I wanted to chat about that and also I want to talk about how it can actually be damaging if we end up eating healthy or working out for the wrong reasons because sometimes what can happen due to how much comparison can be so common on social media, we will eat healthy or work out or get a planner or do all of these different routine type things because we want to look like or be like someone else. And that should not be the motivation for why you do that. For me, my motivation for working out and trying to start eating healthier is I really want to stay healthy and when I end up having kids someday in the future, I don't want to just let myself go. I want to actually take care of myself even when I have other little ones to be taken care of as well. So I want to start getting into the habit of that now so that I have that habit when I am a mom someday. So that is my motivation and I hope that whatever motivation you have for doing things, whether that's buying a planner, starting a new routine, doing all these different types of things, I hope that there's a pure motivation behind it and it's not solely I want to look like or I want to be like someone else. Because we all know this, but comparison can be such a tricky thing when we are on social media. It is so easy to compare our lives to other people's and I definitely have had to unfollow certain people because I just kept comparing my life to theirs and I have to tell you that that is not what social media should be for. If you find yourself having to deal with comparison a lot, I might suggest that you delete it for a while, delete social media for a while, just because it could be helpful for you to actually take some time to focus on your own life and not worry about the lives of others because that can be the evil of social media. As much as I do love it, there is so much evil that can be on it as well. So I just kind of wanted to quickly chat with you guys about that. It was just something on my mind when I started watching the Addison Rae TikToks because I realized that I was changing the things that I would normally do because I saw what she was doing. And I never want that to be the case. I always want to be my own person and to show Christ in the things that I do. So I hope that this gives you some things to think about or some challenges that you may have. If you have some thoughts about this, please leave them down below because I would love to continue talking about this since this seems to be a problem with girls especially. I don't think guys deal with this as much, but us girls have become the main users of social media and we've taken it over and i hope that we can all try to use social media in a healthy way and not let it negatively impact our mindset and our mental health because it definitely can easily trick us and grab a hold of us so I just wanted to have this little girl talk with you and if you enjoyed this, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let me know of any other video ideas you'd like to see from me because I love to do those for you. And like I said, please comment down below any thoughts you have on this subject. And without further ado, I will see you guys probably next Monday. <laughs> Bye guys! Don't paint me things